Hello, talented soul. Hello, my dear Scorpios. Welcome to the first time I'm trying this, you know, readings by sign for the month of August or any time that you pick up this reading, but uh, it's targeting August for Scorpios. Thank you for being here. Welcome. If you're new, I am Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. But today is a reading that will cover anything that is coming for you in August. Okay. Any. It's a general reading. It's like a um, general topic, basically, whatever is come, whatever it is. <laughs> okay. And I have crafted this spell chart for the month of August. If you want to purchase it, it's charged with the sun energy, protection, speeding up of any manifestation. And it's available on the link uh, under the video description. Let's go for it. These are the vibes. Okay. These are the vibes. Let's go for it. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, Venus, North Node. I like the North Node placement. I am North Node placement in a Scorpio. It's very transformative. Okay, my North Node is a Scorpio. It's transforming. Okay, I'm check. I'm picking up very different cards depend on the uh, on the sign. I'm doing this randomly. So every reading will be different. Yes, every reading will be different. Okay, that. And okay, with you, I'm going to put one of these little ones. I don't know why, but this is calling me. I'm going to put two because they're too little. Okay. <laughs> now they look like one. That's the vibe. Oh my. Trickster. Woo! Oh wow. The energy for August is trickster. Transcending convention, conventions, stuffiness, and predictable behavior. Transcending convention, stuffiness, and predictable behavior. Shadow attribute manipulating others through duplicity. You are a magician this month. You are trying something new, something different. You are making magic and tricking everyone. You know why? Because no one expect, expected that you were going to achieve what you're going to achieve. No one in their freaking life thought that you have the power to be a magician. And now you're demonstrating them. Oh, yes, baby, I tricked you. I was more than you ever imagined. That's the energy I'm getting. <laughs> so cool. So cool, very rebel. Well, like a proper Scorpio, okay? Create, yes! You are a magician cooking something that is of value. Why it is of value? Because we have all this red, uh, green, the flower, you know, this piece, like it looks like an antique to me. And you know, like there are some jewelry, jewelry, sorry, that is, um, is precious, okay? Uh, like uh, the kind of things that you find on a, on an auction. Okay, who are famous in in auctions? It's called uh, Soberby or something like that. Maybe you work in auctions, or you're going to acquire something that is of value and sell it. Okay, you are creating a business. Honestly, you are creating a business of something that was overlooked. Okay, something that was overlooked, you are making, making, mixing things together and creating something that is going to be sellable. You're tricking everyone. Okay. Okay, some of you are doing. Uh, <laughs> some of you are selling things that supposedly they have a value that they don't have. Okay, don't do that. It will play backfire to you. Okay. And now you're stopping the reading and go to another reading. <laughs> But the ones that are going to show the world the real, the real magic that is with you, this is your reading, okay? And you're creating something that is truly, truly, uh, a, people have overlooked it. It's like finding a business where no one find it. It's like, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm connecting too much with this guy, but this guy is connected with me because of a reason, with Luke Bellman, no? He took an opportunity during a pandemic of drop shifting. And he made 16 million. That's the kind of idea. No one thought that you were going to be able to do it, but you're going to create something that is profitable, that is very successful because the red and the green for me is abundance. Okay. Let's check. Mirror. 
Mirroring each other's self-image relationship reflect our wounds introspection. Maybe some of you, the product that you are or the thing that you're creating is connected to vanity. Why? Because we have a woman here maybe trying to be over... Um, I don't know, it's like you. some of you are offering a mirror to people to look after what you have done. Or what you're selling to them. It's something of value, eh? It's something connected to beauty in many cases. Something connected to beauty. Girls talk. Yes, your your main your main target are women. The customers are women. Yes, girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happy single, living in the moment, having fun. This is all all you know what you are creating. You are creating. You are, you are, many of you, my Scorpios, are creating a product that is connected to vanity, to beauty, to looking good, to uh, girls. Uh, it's definitely, that's your audience. Okay, that's the business audience. It is, you know, the trickster, the trickster and the mirror give me the idea that please be offering something that is honest. Okay. Because I'm getting that some of you, as I said at the, at the beginning, maybe a trick in there. But the idea is like you are, imagine, you are a 15, no, not 15 year old. You are a very young person because I get the energy of a very young person. And maybe you are at university, but at the same time, you're creating this business. And you know what? It's going to be mega successful. And no one give you a cent. Example, uh, the same with uh, the guy from uh, Facebook that created Facebook from the, you know in the university and quit university. I'm not saying that you will quit university, but I'm thinking I'm seeing energy here of people, very young people creating business out of nothing, and it's going to be successful. And no one thought that you can do that, but you're going to do that. And it's a mirror because during the day you are the you are the student, and during the night you're working in this business plan. You're freaking amazing, I'm going to say. I get the energy, this energy here. Okay, it won't resonate with everyone, but it's a very important message for some of you. King of Pentacles, yeah, you're going to be mega band. You're going to be king with this business. And if you're not young, whatever, you, you get my point, no? You are going to surprise the world with something that is unique, that people oversee it, and you see it. King of Pentacles is your destiny. The abundance, the kingdom, the entrepreneur. Four of cups, yeah. You're coming from an energy that you're not happy as things are, okay? You want more of life. You want more of life. People look at you and they think, okay, he, I, don't give a, I don't give nothing. I mean, they're always bored. They're doing nothing, da, da, da. And out of the blue, you come with this. That's the energy. Knight of cups, wow. Wow. You're going to offer a cup of, you are finding something that is of value that people will want, okay? You're finding something that is truly, truly of value and is connected to beauty and is connected to feeling good, it's connected to, be I mean, as I said, beauty, uh, well-being, hmm? something that is overlooked. That's what you're going to do. So this cup of the four of cups, these three people looking at you and thinking that you're like that, Meanwhile, you're creating this cup to offer to the, to the world, okay? A product. I like it. Nine of Pentacles. Wow. I'm telling you, the money is in the women, eh? The money, the money of this product is in the female. The females will be buying your product. On the ex example, they're doing the nails and they're buying your product. They're doing the hair and they're th talking about you, about what you have created. Nine of Pentacles is abundance, is there, the target is there. I'm giving you a business lesson here. Simple. That's this reading about. It's a business lesson. Well, I'm telling you. Talking about lesson and ace of sword. This is the truth. This is the truth. That's that's what I do. I find in my other career, I help people to find <coughs> <coughs> I help people to find the careers. Okay, this is what will crown you.
Wow. Spot on, eh? Spot on business. A spot on business. You will tell me. Death. Scorpio. Your car. This is you. This is a mega confirmation that this is you. It's a Scorpio car. You're going to transform an industry. You're going to transform a product. You're going to transform something that is of value out there. And people, we think, we think at the beginning you're tricking them. No freaking way. Your product is amazing. Your product is something that was overlooked. Your product is of value. Even if it is a jewelry, I'm telling you, talking about jewelry at the beginning, beginning because obviously it's a general reading. Your product is of value. Okay? Nine of Cups, the wish fulfilled. Come on. Come on. Scorpio, go for it. Go, 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 go. Your car, the truth. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, wish fulfilled, wish fulfilled. Being independently fulfilled. Offering your talent to the world. Offering something of value. Becoming rich. It has to do in many cases with the uh, beauty industry or with something connected to that. Or, or, or some kind of ornament or some kind of, I don't know. Well, it's a general reading. I'm not going to go in, in the mega detail, but you pick my point. Okay? I'm going to put two more cards. One card of energy. Divine matrix. Oh, freaking hell. You have access to the divine guidance. 44. Your age, maybe, some of you. Some of you born on the 44. You are number eight this month is the time. You have access to this divine matrix. Your ideas are freaking amazing. Your idea is freaking amazing. Don't doubt ever about it. You're tricking the world with this. Set the intentions, plant the seeds and watch them grow. Yeah, your destiny is the king of pentacles. You're going, you're, you're going to own this. This is going to be a business. Very big business. You're planting all the seeds. All the seeds. Okay. And one of these. Why not? This is a weird deck. I love it. Sila Conwell. This is energy. You won't see any meaning here. You will see energy. Okay. One final card of energy for my Scorpius. 25. Your age, maybe. It's a seven. <laughs> and this is a golden figure in the middle of the sky. Being guided by a comet. You are being the divinely guided. Honestly, divine matrix, divinely guided. And there is only, I mean, this energy, which is the sun energy. Obviously, we have the sun. Uh, we have the August uh, spell jar, which has the sun energy. And it has sem similar colors. Is the energy that is coming to you to manifest this. That's the energy. Sun energy, creation energy. Wow, my dear Scorpios, I love your reading. What I can say, thank you so much. Please subscribe, comment, share, like. Check out my shop for this spell jar. Any, if you want jewelry, it's on my shop as well. Okay. Uh, I love you very much. I hope you enjoyed this format. Let me know. Till the next time. Namaste. Have an amazing day, amazing week, amazing life. Bye-bye.